Hey Nesters, today I went to the Goodwill in my area, the larger one. Last week I went to the smaller one. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this and definitely let me know below if you see anything that you would have picked up. All right, so the first thing I saw when I walked in right off the bat was this really awesome mirrored tray and it's actually on a Lazy Susan. I thought this was a really neat piece. Now I thought this piece was really interesting. What it is is a Continental Trademark Hanrot I believe aluminum tray and I'm not really sure what you would use this for let me know what you guys think how gorgeous is the patina on this silver piece here now I'm not sure the exact use for this I believe you would put a plate or some kind of a bowl inside of it just to keep it off of the table if it was hot or something like that so if you guys know any different definitely let me know I thought this was kind of an interesting trivet piece, but you can tell it had some damage to it. They kind of glued the leg back on, so I wasn't sure how well that would hold up. Lots of fun metal pieces and trivets, especially today. This gravy bow actually is supposed to have a tray that goes underneath of it, and they had it marked at $5. I believe it's an early 1900s piece, so it's a pretty fair price. Holy decorative teapots, Batman. This box here is actually in the same spot that I found that last Indian style box and the one I got was in much nicer condition than this but yeah that one was $10 as well. So you're about to see what I was talking about with my lamps at my store. It's usually quite a bit of junk but I did find those two cool ones a couple weeks ago and I'm curious if you guys know what these blue cone shaped glass things are. Are they some kind of an insulator? I've never seen these before. Now these I know are insulators. I feel like the teal are the most common color. That's the ones I tend to come across the most. I actually have one myself. I know it depends on which one it is, but I feel like, you know, they're, the common ones don't really sell for that much, but they are collectible and a lot of people like them, especially for more farmhouse style decor. I did think this music staff, I guess is what it is, lamp was really neat. I like the design of it and it seemed to be more of a modern piece but I definitely liked how it looked and you know I think with the right buyer it would sell well. Now I don't know if you guys know this about me but I am kind of globe obsessed. I have a small globe collection and I did not have one in this color. I was sad to see that this had some damage to it but overall it's in pretty nice condition and I think they were asking around 8 for it. This Goodwill always has a lot of interesting shelfware and I've picked up a lot of different items like this to display items in my antique booth. So I thought these pieces were kind of cute. They're both kind of birdhouse style. They had some interesting laminated bird prints from 1979 that one said. so. I'm not sure if someone used this for decor or they just were into birds and like to, you know, keep it in a portfolio or something, but I thought those were kind of neat. And I really like this painting that's behind this one here. I thought this was gorgeous. The price was a little higher than I wanted to pay for it. I unfortunately did not get it this time, but if it's still there for a discounted price, I'll probably pick it up. Had a little bit of damage to the paint. There was some staining on it, but you know, at 10 bucks, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it today. Looking through the wall art is one of my favorite places to look in the thrift store. When I first opened my antique booth, I bought a ton of wall art, but it actually doesn't sell that well in antique booths, so if you guys ever open up one, I would be surprised if you guys had better luck than me, you know, so yeah, just something to look out for if you guys want to open a, a booth. I did think this sign was really cute, you know, I live in a house with all boys, so I got my husband and my two boys and my two dogs are boys, so... I did like this. Now I stood here for a good solid five minutes trying to figure out what I could use this for because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It's this nice glass tiled piece. I love the design to it. I just did not know what to use it for. Initially I thought they wanted $10 a piece for this. I kind of just didn't, didn't see the set on there. It was on the top shelf so you know I think it's a pretty fair price if it, you know it's for the full set. This bowl is absolutely gorgeous. It's a German piece from a brand called Studio, and I'm not sure that's exact worth, but I thought it was really nice, and I would guess it's probably maybe at least a $30 bowl. This stuff is turning up everywhere now. If you guys saw my Salvation Army shop with me, you would know that I had this as a kid. 
These plates are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I would feel comfortable putting food on it. <laughs> I think I would feel bad. I'm not sure if they're for decorative use or not. They kind of seem like they would be, but they're really nice. This just makes me super sad to think about how this ended up here. I'm assuming someone inherited this by, you know, someone passed away and they didn't want it. This is actually Vermilion Rose by Triumph. It's an American Limoges set here and you know it has to be a pretty specific buyer I would think that would want this don't think it sells for a whole lot maybe the saucers maybe a couple bucks and the plates maybe five a piece but you know I don't think there's a whole lot of profit to be made here you know based on the prices they had this 1964 plate actually could be pretty collectible to history buffs because in this year President Johnson actually signed the Civil Rights Act which actually ended segregation so that's pretty neat now, I did find some Pyrex. These are the Amist bowls, but they wanted so much money. They wanted $15 for that one, and then they actually had more throughout the store. For whatever reason, they couldn't put the set together and just sell it as a set for a reasonable price. I thought these plates were really neat with the extra lip there, kind of was like a handle. This was a nice little pottery piece here, some kind of a crock, I would say. So here's some Old Town blue pattern mugs here. These came out in the early 70s. If you guys watch my channel, you know I collect all the Pyrex compatibles, so I picked these up. <laughs> so the salt and pepper shakers were cute, but I was curious what was poking out underneath here, and it's actually a collector's plate from the state I live in, Maine, and it looks pretty vintage. It was only $2. And then I did a little happy dance on my hand there as I put it into my cart. Now this here is Japan Lustaware. Lustaware comes in many different patterns, but the overall look is, a, you know, relatively the same. This is actually a really nice pattern, and I think you could probably stand to make more money on this set than you would, you know, the basic ones with no design. Probably about 10 to 15 per teacup and saucer set. I really love purple, and I thought this was really gorgeous, but you can tell it had been repaired to some kind of a cement glue job done to the pedestal so I wasn't sure how secure that would be in the long run. I like this salt cellar but I feel like it should have had a lid and I wasn't sure that anyone would really want it without a lid. Also today I tried out a local to me thrift store and I saw a birds of paradise painting there so it kind of made me laugh when I saw these birds of paradise faux flowers. I really like these silver plated coasters. I picked up coasters a lot for my antique booth, but they don't really sell well, so I don't know if I'd have any better luck online. Now, I've seen this a few times before, but I'm always attracted to it because of the fun colors, and I forget it's Avon, and it originally had some kind of bath oil that came into it. It just sold recently on eBay for a whopping two bucks. So though cute, obviously not a good item to pick up for resale value. I always see so many gorgeous ginger jars. I don't know if anyone actually uses them, but I do pick them up every now and then. How fun is this chip and dip set in the seashell pattern here? It almost looks like a mother of pearl coloring to it. I thought this was really nice. And I would say these would probably sell for at least, you know, 20-25 bucks, providing, you know, the condition that it's in. My thrift store seems to always be peppered with vases. I don't know if it's a thing that like people just don't use anymore. But there's always a lots of cute ones, and sometimes I pick them up. Here's some more luster wear here. You can see how you can kind of tell just by the you know style of it what it is. I swear I have an eagle eye for butterfly gold corral. <laughs> I'm always going to pick up the larger plates and bowls if it's a great deal. And the most hard for me to find are the woodland pattern and the snowflakes. So yeah, I'm always trying to find those, but I never come across them really. So right now my personal collection pretty much consists of the spring blossom and butterfly gold with just a few pieces of the others. So I really thought this sugar and creamer set was absolutely gorgeous. This is a vintage Fire King set. And I saw a couple of listings that sold on eBay somewhat recently, but the sugar had a lid on both of those that sold, and they only sold for 10 bucks for the set, and these were $3 a piece, so there was really no profit to be made there, and the gold trim was kind of wearing off as well. This amber glass 
deviled egg and I guess veggie tray is pretty cool, but it's super heavy. I've been really attracted to this transferware stuff lately, so I don't know, it might be something I might have to get into. Like I told you, there were more of the purple Pyrex bowls around. They wanted 10 bucks for this one, 15 for the other. What do you guys think? Do you think someone bought this for themselves, or do you think someone gifted it to them because they liked wine? I thought this mini little nesting set was adorable. I believe it's a vintage piece from maybe the 70s or 80s. Or maybe it's a reproduction just made to look old, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I really thought these cotillion floral plates were absolutely gorgeous, and I don't know about you guys, but if I see something that should go with things at Goodwill, I always have to stick it together. I don't know, it's just the neat freak in me, I guess. Why do I keep finding such cute ashtrays? I always have such mixed feelings about picking these up, because yeah, I don't condone smoking at all. I think this is an ashtray anyways. I thought this ceramic piece was really interesting. I think it's some type of a cornucopia. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be here, but it kind of resembles Majolica to me a little bit. It's not quite fancy pants enough to be Majolica, but it definitely has, you know, the similar design elements. So a new subscriber left me a comment the other day that she'd only watched three videos and she figured out that my favorite color was probably green. <laughs> so yes, you guys know I do like my green glassware. And so let me know below if you think I picked those up. So there was a lot to take in at the Goodwill today, so I actually ended up making this a two-part video. So if you want to see the second part to this, make sure you're subscribed and maybe even hit that bell so you're notified when that comes out tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!